Hi Justin, uh, what are these games all about as far as uh, an Ospreys player is concerned taking on the, uh, the old rivals? Um, yeah, I, I it's obviously a big game for for everyone really. If you're an Osprey or a Scarlet and basically you know where, especially the Derby games, this Christmas is uh, around the corner and um, yeah, whether you have a good Christmas or uh, not a good one. So no, they're, they're big games and you know, you're playing against teammates that you played with the other day and now they're opposition. So yeah, they're always big games. Do you have to uh, calm yourself down rather than hype yourself up for these then? Uh, no, I think uh, the older you get, um, I don't know, maybe the start of your career you would be, but the older you get, uh, you, you kind of calm down a bit. And the Scarlets have lost a few in their back row this season, but uh, with James Davis back to uh, fitness, will be no doubt looking to give you a game, personally? No, I'll let you say, they, they've, they've got good back rowers, and uh, there's, even when we played them at the start of the season, when we were missing a few, they, you know you're in for a tough game. Uh, they've all, they've always got strength and depth in their back row, um, and we know our back row will always have tough games against them, and there's just be no difference uh, with the weekend coming. How about the situation in the league at the moment? How do you see it? Yes, um, we're doing we're doing okay. Obviously, um, you know it's better than last season, which is obviously a positive. Uh, but obviously, we 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 want to try and win most of the games, every game if you can, um, and we, and I think we we're building nicely and. Um, no, we're, we're getting better as a team throughout the season and hopefully we can uh, build on it. When Pivak was trying to suggest that you're favourites for this one, uh, Matt Sherrett said that uh, Scarlet's are definitely favourites. Everyone wants to be the underdog from the sound of it. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously, I don't think we've won against them for the last five games. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think we can be the favourites uh, when you look at the, the record of it. So... But no, obviously, <coughs> you go into the games and you, you want to win the games that you go into, especially obviously the big derby games. Um, but obviously, they're, they're, they're a world class team. They, you know, they, they're the ones with um, all the success over the last few years, and, and uh, they're going to be coming here to, to beat us again. How conscious are you of things like that? That uh, you know, you've been the standard bearer for Wales for some years, and then they've taken it over for a, a couple of years, maybe. Is it up for grabs again? Uh, no, I, I still think they're obviously the leading team in Wales at the minute um, and obviously we, we want to get that title back obviously from having it for so many years um, but yeah we, we're obviously building uh, nicely at the minute and we just got to keep on climbing that, uh, cl climbing our way to, to being back to the best. What about the uh, fixture list over Christmas holiday period this year, it's uh, spread out over successive weekends rather than trying to get three rounds into two weekends. Is that a good thing as far as the players are concerned? Ah, uh, yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, as a player's point of view, it's obviously, um, usually in the past, I think we try and rotate those squads a bit because uh, they're, they're probably some of the toughest games you're going to play all year and you've got to play them in a shorter period uh, because derby games are always physical and you know they're, they're tough games to play in. And uh, yeah, to spread out is obviously better for the players and even better than off the pitch and you've got to spend a bit of time with your families and stuff. Does that mean like uh, a player such as yourself, a first choice player, might reasonably expect to start all three games if, uh, if you stay fit? Uh, I never expect to start no matter what, so um, no, so it's just got to make sure you obviously concentrate on the first game and make sure we're performing, try and get that important win and well, you see what happens after that then. With the game coming four or five days after Christmas, does that mean you get a small bit of Christmas pudding on your plate rather than that at all? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, it depends if our condition is watching or not, so um, no, we probably boys probably try and enjoy a bit of Christmas, but no, we know we'll have a job to do in a few days, so you, you can't go crazy, shall we say. And uh, one other thing, you've worked uh, and uh, Jonathan Humphreys here at the Ospreys, um, what's he like as a coach? Uh, yeah, he's. I think first thing he's a great bloke more than anything. He's um, he's a he's a top guy. That, uh I learned loads off when I was first coming through the academy and coming into the first team. And uh, yeah, he's obviously a great coach and great bloke. And yeah, see, see what happens there. So. What sort of style of coach is he in terms of dealing with the players and how? Um, and so on? Yeah, he just he has a bit of fun with the boys, I guess. But uh, when it comes down to to working, you, you know, you got to switch on because. Um, you know, he loves his scrums and line outs and especially the scrum time um, and that's the type of character he is.
Just in terms of the derby occasion, playing against boys you train with, as you mentioned earlier, you know, in the Wales camp, what's that like? Uh, I think you get used. Yeah, you get used to. It. Yeah, it's obviously a little bit of chat going on on the on the field and what have you. But um, yeah, it's it's like I guess when you play against ex players that used to play yeah. in the same club team as you and stuff like that. There's a little bit, but you know you got a job to do and um, concentrate on the game in hand really. Yeah, because Kieran Fonatier was at um, the press yesterday and he was saying there might be a bit of banter before and things like that. As players, do you know that or just to take it it's, it's just, yeah, I think it's part of the game when you're on the pitch now. It's just one of those things and, yeah, it's, it's all part of the game, especially local derby games.